Okay, welcome to the second half of the Let's Beat the Goers Memorial Cup. We now have uh, techniques. You'll notice that I've given Tia's spear shot. There's two reasons for that. One, I was having an attack of arthritis and didn't learn Jack shot on, shot on the ferry. The other reason is because he's only going to be in the second half for three minutes, and Jack's shot takes a while. So spear shot isn't quite as much of a guaranteed goal, but it's pretty good, and you can get more than one shot off that way. Now, before I get into the game, I'm not really going to set marks this time. I'm just spying on what's up there. Okay, Grav's got elite defense, and Belgirdo, bless her heart, forgot to set a tick, so she's not going to be any worse than she already is, which is, she's a pain. All right, we're ready to start. Now, if you're just joining us, my standard technique is to toss the ball back to Jasu, call, carry the ball along the wall, break through Avis before Belgirdo gets back to her... Oh, I'll demonstrate right now. Okay. Pass back to Jasu. The first time you do this, of course, you'll hit triangle after he catches it so that you can set your movement on manual. But after that, pass it back to Jasu. Whenever you need to make a pass, hit square. Carry the ball along the wall, and Abus will tag along with him, but Abus has absolutely no skills as a defender, so you can break through him. Watch Belgirda. She just turned. As soon as she turns, you need to hit square because she can take the ball away from him. Break to Avis, or you can pass. It doesn't really matter with him. He can't do much. Pass it up to Tidus, or whatever, whoever is up there at your scoring position. Crank the joystick towards the goal cage, but keep in mind that with Sphere Shot, he can only get through one defender at a time. So I'm going to angle it slightly to the left so that Belgirda is the only defender on him. And then hit square pretty quick because he's so close. All right, clear shot. And he is just going to score, period. See why square shot's quick? Easy, simple. The crowd is cheering for the rocks. Isn't this exciting? I ain't seen nothing yet. Alright, here is Grav slash Barthelo slash Luzu. Unfortunately, poor Titus isn't much of a defender either. Your scorers tend to be bad defense. Later on, you can give him tackles and then he'll be a problem. <laughs> Boda. That is one thing Boda can actually do. That's it. Okay. He can't even pass all the way across the spear pole. He's that bad. Let's see. Unfortunately, trying to get over to Jasu is sometimes a little tricky. Oh good, Grob didn't follow him. That's the thing is, Grob usually goes back to the middle. So, again, break to Avis, pass to Titus, and shoot. Did I mention Spear Shot is quick? Irony is, if Titus starts showing off too much, the crowd calls for Waka. You just can't win, poor Titus. But on the other hand, we do want to root for poor Waka. He's been suffering with this lousy team for so many years. And he did take a pretty good beating while Titus was off looking for Aran, so... Time for 
walk in and get his own moment of glory. We will give him his time. And then he uses a transporter to get down into the locker room. Or something. Notice that inscription on the wall? Earlier you got a full view of it, and the subtitles translated it as... What was it? The dreams of my childhood farewell? To be honest, I did kind of feel left out. But no, that's not. That's the real translation. Really I can't remember what they said, but it wasn't that. My best memories are here. That's not what it says. It says to the dreams of my childhood farewell, which is pretty much what both Waka and Yuna are doing in this story. Yuna keeps saying farewell, too, although she's doing it silently. Okay, enough chit-chat. Let's give Waka his victory. And I'll note that the method that I used to uh, get Titus in the scoring position works just as well with dear old Waka, who's got Venom shot to boost his scoring. Here's our Blit Ball. I love that typo. Okay, let's get poor Waka a chance to score here. No. Sad. Luckily, Jasu is a good guy. I guess we're not going to have a clean game. Sorry, not a shutout. I guess we'll just have to take the victory. Alright, time to give Waka a chance. But first, pass the ball back to Jasu. Yes, we need to pull all the defenders out of position as much as possible, and Grob does not tend to go after him. Grob's in the middle, he just hangs out in the middle. Algird is the one you gotta watch for. Oh, no, Grob is moving in. That's okay. Pass to Waka. I'm gonna crank the stick kind of up to keep him away from Grob. He can usually break through her, but not always. Alright, give Waka a goal. There we go. And we can just do a victory lap at this point because there is not enough time for them to score. If you win, there's three different cutscenes that uh, are different. Let's see. Immediately after the game, later on when Waka is saying goodbye to the rest of the team and going on pilgrimage, and then when you talk to um, Luzu and Gata, I believe that their dialogue was a little different. And also if you talk to everyone in the stadium, there's a lot of disgruntled goer fans to gloat over. But first of all, what's your prize? Strength Sphere adds an extra plus three or plus four to the uh, Sphere Glitter, I forget which. 